passive income. I don't think I can even start to explain to you peeps how much I love it. Well, today we're going to look at five different kinds of crypto miners that will actually get you passive income. And by crypto miners, I don't mean your ASIC miner that costs an arm and a leg, usually close to 10 grand, consumes $4 of electricity a day, is comparable to actually having a bonfire inside your room and make so much noise that you can't even hear yourself think about what am I going to eat tonight? Instead, we're going to talk about some of these plug and play devices that you can see in the background. You pretty much need no knowledge to set these up and no range from 300 all the way up to $3,000 each. But obviously at different price points, they'll have different earnings. Hey, what's up boys and girls? It's your boy Marcel, aka Smokehelm. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm wearing the classy automatic Festina with the sapphire glass. Mwah. How about we get into it? Our first device, if you've been following for a while, is going to be none other than a helium miner. Now, Smoke Helm, I haven't been following you for a while. What exactly is a helium miner? What does it do? How much does it make every single day? And how fast can I get my return on investment? Well, chill. I'm going to answer all that. A helium miner like this one that I have right here has a small antenna over there. The reason that it actually has an antenna is that it's creating a network, a network for Internet of Things, meaning Internet connected devices that don't actually go through Wi-Fi. The technology is called LoRaWAN and simply put its radio frequencies. So these cost anywhere between 200 to $500 each. The way these are going to make money is that they'll receive and send data between those devices and between other Helium hotspots. And for those actual actions that it does, it gets rewarded in a token called Helium or HNT. Now, these were extremely profitable a while back. I have a whole playlist of videos about Helium on the channel if you want to learn more. I'm talking they were making hundreds of dollars in a single day. The average revenue they'll earn nowadays is around 60 cents per day or around $200 per year. Now, this also depends on your location, on your elevation, and on your line of sight. For instance, I moved this one just for the video, but usually it is outdoor. I want it to be outdoor because that way the antenna doesn't have to send the signal through windows or walls, and it can get more traffic coming to the device and so more rewards. The estimated time for return on investment on these, if you're paying anywhere between $200 to $300 for one, is going to be around 14 to 18 months. And then you're in the money. The Helium token is actually trading around $5 right now, but its all-time high was around $55. So as you know, the market is kind of in the gutter currently, but when the market goes back up, I do believe that Helium can easily go back up to 20 bucks. And that means that you're dividing your return on investment time by four. The one I have right here is an iTech Miner Plus. I'll have a link to this specific miner in the description. And if you use the code SMOKELM, you'll get yourself $50 off your entire order, which brings your return on investment time down by around 80 days. The iTech Miner Plus ships from stock, so you'll have it usually inside of a week, unlike other manufacturers that are still back ordered or pre ordered, where you'll wait a couple months to receive your miner. I'll put a card right here if you want to check out the Helium playlist, learn more about these kinds of devices, the network, and the whole project. And now we'll move on to device number two. Device number two is actually going to be the Aware element. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This thing used to make actually $7 a day. And then they had a couple issues with the project between the manufacturer and the project itself. And now they don't earn anything. But there's a project called PiFi that is bringing utility back to these and allowing you to mine their own token. If you're interested by that, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video covering how you can mine again with your aware element. The second device is going to be one that I don't physically yet have, but very soon, just because they're about to launch. Yes, you heard that correctly. They haven't launched yet. And you know what I usually say, early bird gets the worm. That means that if you're here in the beginning with one of their devices and you mine a high quantity of token, that's going to probably be valued at pennies. Well, once the project gets actual traction and the token goes up, your bag is going to be multiplied by so much. And that device is going to be none other than the Hive Mapper Dash Cam. I said dash cam. Yes, because it's a dash cam. If you don't know what a dash cam is, it's a small camera that you put inside your car and will usually record for insurance purposes. Well, with the technological level that humans have achieved, 
Nowadays, we're able to add functions to these dash cams, and that's exactly what Hive Mapper did. So you probably know about Google Maps, right? And how you can go into Street View, meaning you can navigate and just go check out a place that you've never been before. Well, in order to do so, Google had to pay for super expensive camera setups on top of cars, and they're now selling that Google Maps service to companies. Yes, because you and I can use it for free, but companies such as Uber pay $19 million a year to Google in order to use the professional plan of Google Maps. And so someday one dude thought, why not add that mapping function to a dash cam and let people do the work for us? But we'll pay them rewards in crypto to do so. And so Hive Mapper was launched. You can currently pre-order one of their dash cams for $550 or the Dashcam S for $650. And the difference between the two Dashcams is simply that the Dashcam S will have more frames per second, meaning that you'll probably be more able to use it for insurance purposes if you do care to have that. You can put up to two in a single vehicle, one front facing, one side facing. You can also put them outside of the vehicle. You'll get better rewards. As I said, they're launching early November, I believe on the 3rd. They're actually going to the Solana conference called Breakpoint in Lisbon, where I will also be at for their launch. If you're in Lisbon during that time or that event, hit me up on Instagram. Let's link up. Let's go have a coffee. You know, I love meeting you guys. So for the moment, I don't have an actual return on investment time to present to you peeps. But if you have an extra five to six hundred dollars lying around, obviously, after doing your own research and none of this is financial advice throw out a project that i personally believe in device number three is going to be none other than the matchx m2 pro this guy right here which i've had for the past week and i absolutely love it small count why do you love it well simply because unlike all the other miners on this list this thing will keep mining at a steady rate daily but small count what's that rate well i'm glad you asked ten dollars every single day. But how does that work? Well, MatchX is building their own network for Internet of Things, same as Helium. And for the while being, they are rewarding people that actually buy these devices with their token called MXC. And in order to make sure that you get $10 every single day, when the price of MXC goes down, you mine more coins. And when the price of MXC goes up, you'll mine a little bit less coins. Price of the device is a little bit on the higher side. It costs $2,750, but you can get $20 off your order if you use my link down in the description. I'm assuming you're not that bad at math, but I'm gonna run it back just for a second. And so the return on investment on this device is actually 270 to 300 days. The thing is, it doesn't only mine MXC. It also will mine Bitcoin through a staking program that MatchX has put in place, meaning you'll lock up your mined MXC tokens and you'll get a couple extra cents of Bitcoin every day. Now, one thing with these that's very different from any of the devices we're going to talk about is that when you withdraw what you have mined, your miner health will go down and you will mine a little less if you withdraw all your holdings, you will mine 50% less, meaning $5 a day. So the way to do it is obviously to wait at least 270 to 300 days where you have enough of those tokens that are worth the price you bought it at, then sell those tokens and keep mining $5 a day with the device. Over time, the miner health will go back up and you'll mine more and more, eventually getting back to almost those $10 a day. This device does also ship from stock, and I believe they're currently running a special offer where you'll have it shipped from door to door inside of a week. I forgot to mention, but I do also have another video on the Hive Mapper dash cam that will be right here. And I do also have another video on the MatchX M2 Pro that will also be right here. Now, the fourth device is a little bit different from every single one that we've talked before. I mean, this device is something a little weird, but it can be extremely profitable to you. And it's going to be none other than myself, because if you're still watching up to now, it means that you found some valuable information in this video. And pretty much all my videos have some valuable information inside of them. And one way to always make sure that you're going to follow passive income trends is to click that subscribe button right here. That will expose you to the projects that I personally believe in without you having to go scour forums for hours in order to find those. Now, Obviously, as I said earlier in the video, always do your own research. Don't go ahead and put your life savings into a project without 
reading at least the white paper and making sure that you understand how the project works. The fifth device on this list is going to be none other than something I still don't have in my possession because they're back ordered and they can't actually produce these fast enough because everybody and their mother wants one, but it's going to be the GeodeNet Space Weather Mining Station, which sounds like a weird combination of words, but that's basically what it does. I really want one of these devices. I tried reaching out to GeodeNet, but unfortunately they're super, super busy with everything that they have going on. If they do answer with a discount code for you guys, I'll be sure to add it in the description, but I probably don't have it as of right now. This device has one unit that stays indoor and one unit that goes outdoor. There's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube already to set it up, which pretty much takes under 30 minutes. Its price is right under the $500 mark. I believe it's at $495 currently, and it makes just over $2 a day in GeoNet tokens, which means that your return on investment is around 200 to 250 days with this miner, and then it's all free money, which amazing. I can't really say much about it as I haven't tried it myself, but I'll be sure to make a video when I get my hands on one. For our last device, Mr. Number Six, we're gonna talk about a project called Weather XM that is not that different from Number Five GeodeNet, but still a little different. This is basically a weather mining station, meaning that you also have one unit that goes inside and one unit that goes outside. The unit that's gonna go outside is actually a weather station. So that thing will calculate how much it rains, is there sun, is it windy, etc. And WeatherXM will go and resell this data to people that are actually interested in this data because there is a market for extremely precise weather conditions. You'll start mining the WeatherXM token that that I don't believe is out yet, so we don't have a price. But as I said in device number two, Hive Mapper, early bird gets the worm. If you have an extra couple hundred dollars just lying around, just throw them at it. And when the token comes out, and if you believe in the project, hope that it gains mass adoption. Right before I say goodbye to you peeps, I just wanted to make sure that you really understood device number four. Or was it device number three? I don't remember. But 74% of the people that watch these videos aren't actually subscribed, so please hit that red button. I know it's scary, it's red. Make it turn gray, it'll be less scary. And make that little thumbs up turn blue, not for the YouTube algorithm, but for my own ego. On that note, it was your boy Marcel, aka Smolkalm, and I'll catch you guys in another one. Peace.